What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in to another All Things Fishing video. So I've been wanting to do more educational, more informative videos, not only for my viewers, but for other anglers who are looking for alternate ways of doing things. So I figured catch and cooks are pretty popular. Uh, I caught some trout last weekend ice fishing. And I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys my favorite way of cooking and prepping these trout. So that's enough said, let's go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start by just showing you guys how I like to clean the fish. Very basic method. Um, most of you guys probably already know this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and show it anyways for those that may not. So basically, if you had your full trout guts in, nothing done to it, all you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna turn them on his back with your fillet knife, go behind the two pectoral fins and just slice down towards his spine. Once you slice down, you can go ahead and grab that chunk of meat and try to grab some of the gills as well and just go ahead and rip that out. That should all come out together. If it doesn't, you can just go ahead and pull out the pieces. But that would be how we do the uh, front half of the fish. And then go ahead and turn around. And then to get all the rest of the guts out, you just want to start at the butt and go ahead and take your fillet knife and cut upwards through the um, body cavity right there and out towards the top exposing all the guts you're gonna go ahead and grab the guts take them out and what you'll be left with usually is um, some sort of uh, bloodline down the spinal cord uh, you just take the back of your nail and go ahead and scrape forward with some running water just get all that out until it's just flesh like that and there you go you got yourself a clean trout ready to cook. Okay so at this point we are ready to prep the trout for cooking. You only need three things for this. Brown sugar, pineapple, and butter. So this is my favorite way to cook trout. Um, I feel like it makes the, the meat nice and sweet but not too sweet and the pineapple gives it a nice little tang and butter you know. Butter is butter, it makes everything great. So I'm gonna start off by just grabbing the brown sugar and just sprinkling a little bit inside the, uh, the trout. So I just like to go ahead and rub it on both sides of the, uh, the body there. Try to get to stick as best you can. Like so. Okay, so once we've got the brown sugar in there, we can go ahead and take a few little pieces of butter. Just go ahead and shove them on in there. And that's gonna help the brown sugar kinda glaze and get all bubbly and spread out through the whole trout. Once the butter's in there, go ahead and take a couple slices of pineapple and put them in there as well. Just like so. Okay, so lastly, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit more brown sugar. Sprinkle it on top like so. This doesn't have to be perfect. You know, just get a little bit on there. I'll do it and we're just gonna take a few more pineapple slices and lay them on top like that okay so this trout is all ready for the oven I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap the tin wrap them up in tin foil start with pulling it up trying to keep everything nice and tight together fold that side Hold that side and then just go ahead and wrap them like a burrito. Try and keep that some foil nice and tight. And boom, we got two trouts. These are cutthroat, by the way. Caught them last weekend ice fishing in the oven. 390, 25 minutes. Let's go.
All right guys, so here it is, finished product. One of the best ways you can tell your trout's done is you can just go ahead and fork the skin a little bit. When it peels back like that, that's how you know that the meat inside is cooked through. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you real, one way real quick that I like to get the meat off the bones because I know a lot of people struggle with trout and small bones that they have. So I just go ahead and follow their lateral line with the fork, giving small twists in there. What that does, that goes, that pulls apart from the uh, main part of the uh, spine there. Then you go ahead and rake the meat back, like so. There's your bottom half, totally boneless. You can go ahead and flip it up. And there's your top half, totally boneless. Well, I hope this video was helpful for you guys out there, and I hope you enjoy this, and maybe you guys make it up and it tastes great. Thanks for watching. See you next time.